जय द स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आफ्टर फिनिशिंग योर सेंटेंस एंड फ्रेज नाउ वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस अबाउट नाउ दैट इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच माई डे स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल हैव न्यू स्टार्ट ऑफ दिस दैट इज नेम ऑफ द टाइटल ऑफ टुडे इज नाउ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट today we will discuss all about this now okay so my dear students first of all we will have a look about the definition of this it's a very common as you can see continuously you are learning from class first that the very common definition with a within a few words you can end it like naming words are noun so what this naming words suggest let me tell you let me explain this naming words first one right so naming words means the words that represents a name so what this naming words suggest any kinds of name either person either name of place either name of any kinds of things either name of any kinds of monuments either name of any country either name of any natural heritage so whatever may be if a name is there that will be considered as a noun that means the name of every place every person every things is considered as a noun okay my dear students as you can see that's the noun naming word so what can be the possible classification of this noun so what can be the for this we will have to discuss what must be what is actually the classification how many kinds of name could be right so first as you can see the name suppose i am your english teacher and my name is siddharth kumar tiwari so i am just a single siddharth tiwari in this columbus society i am not just talking about this is that is a single name and it's a unique one no i'm just talking about this place okay so single siddharth tiwari and as a teacher is present in that okay so i am having a unique name that means that name is unique for me that means i will be the proper noun the proper noun now you can well understand that the specific name that the specific name is given to a person is consider the specific name a specific name like ram sita mount everest okay so that is proper noun then after what again my name is this my name is whatever and what i am i am a boy and parallel to me another teachers another boy who is just you can see inside your surroundings they may have different kinds of name but what we classify we classify another boy or girl so such a classification class like boy girl man woman cow that is a noun but it's a common name to all so it becomes a common noun common noun okay a name common to all okay example boy girl yes okay then after the third word sometimes in your locality you can see the collections collection means the gatherings of the people the meetings of the people and that is considered when the collection of the people has been so that it will be a collective noun as its name collective noun
what is the name of collections and what's an example for this crowd bunch etc so that's the collection now there are my dear students we will discuss about the fourth kind of is that is sometime the things that is actually present but only we can feel only we can feel only we can sense only we can understand like the things the spiritual power means blessings curses honesty these are the things that is definitely present but they are just only considered so that becomes an abstract noun means the things which is considered as abstractual so it becomes abstract noun and name of things not exactly the things name of what you will see okay and what's an example for this like honesty anger etc and the last one my dear students is material now is material now it's very easy to identify material now means name of matters right very common matters is sugar rice okay so these are the classification of noun my dear students like proper noun common noun collective abstract and material all the things all the names we can find inside our locality right so it's a very easy to make differentiation between them and you can easily differentiate them right then further my dear students we will again have a look over the first we will note it down and then after we are just jumping on another another aspects of classification of noun and that will be on the basis of gender and on the basis of their number okay okay my dear students so now i'm just leaving this number here because again we will have to make this number in that time and we are the curious one we are the educated we are the wise person of the society and society expectation are more from us that's why we will have to conserve the things whatever we can whatever contribution can we must preserve the things okay my dear students so now further we will discuss about the classification of the noun on the ground of gender right so first the question is this what a gender is gender decides the things is either male or female or living or non living right so that is all about gender that is the basic definition for the gender that it so creates a criteria it creates a limit for the classification of male or female okay for the first as a classification of gender it, it is masculine masculine okay basically masculine gender refers to male it stands to indicate the class that is related for the male that is related for the male okay so what is me it means boy man 
etc. Now, the second gender will be feminine. What this second gender indicates? As masculine gender refers to male in the same way, feminine gender refers to female. Okay? And what will be the example for this? As it is girl and woman. Okay? In the third one, these two are the living things, but what about the classification of non-living? It becomes, sorry, third one we will have a discuss about the common gender. Some professions come in such a way, basically common gender refers for the both male and female. It refers both male and female. Right? So, what will be the example? Example will be teacher. Example will be teacher. Example will be go, etc. My dear students, these three are the classification of living things. But what about the classification of non-living? It's another. It becomes neuter gender. Neuter gender. What about this neuter gender, dear students? This is non-living things. Neuter gender that represents non-living things. As an example, you can see like pen. Pencil, etc. Whatever the material, whatever the things that you can see inside your locality, that will be the part of your this gender classification. My dear students, you can prepare your notes well with the help of these kinds of things, right? And it's very easy hints for you, and it's very very easy to learn also. With the help of these hints, you can be easily write, learn, and understand all the classes. All the definitions that gender indicates to us, right? Then after, again, my dear students, we will have one another classification on the ground of their number of nouns. Okay. So, my dear students, according to the number, noun can be further classified in two broad categories. Actually, these two are the categorization, and for what we will have to discuss about a number of rules. Rules. To change a noun into singular plural, right? First, have a look about the number. About noun. What this number suggests? My dear student, this number suggests that what is the actual number of your noun? What is the actual number of your subject or object? As you can see, the noun is always used as a subject or object, right? So. It can be used according to your Hindi in three terms. The first one is the single noun, second one is the double noun, and the third one is the more than two that is considered as the plural one. But according to your English literature, there are only two kinds of classification is present in number. That one first becomes singular. That refers to one thing. Pens, 
wires will be converted into plural as wires and mountains will be converted as mountains. And that's exercise. So my dear students, as you can see, these are the two classifications. When a noun is stand in single little number, that will be considered as a singular one. And when the same noun will be stand as a plural one, then it will be considered plural means more than one. Okay? So, my dear students, that's enough for the noun. And again, today, I am going to provide you a homework. And the homework is, what will be the homework? Revision and rules to convert singular into plural. Right. So you have to read the rules that is printed on your textbook that you can see the how a bus can be written as buses or why will be written as boys right so you will have to understand these kinds of rules by just reading that is easily written on your textbook. So my dear student, you will make a revision of whatever we have discussed about now and you will again read the rules that is how you get 4 or 5 in numbers in your textbook. How you will going, you are going to convert a similar number now into plural one. So that's a homework for you my dear student and uh, my dear students again and again you will revise it. Again my information to you, be safe. Further you are getting any problem regarding this now, then definitely you are free to ask and you can ask freely without any hesitation. My dear students, again we will meet in the next video session. Up to the time, thank you. Have a nice day.